comic strip tells of the Eagle Force. Stories you can act up with die-cast metal Eagle Force action figures, each sold separately. There's Captain Eagle and Talon. You can pretend K.O. is a judo fighter. Turk, a strongman. And Sergeant Brown, a demolitions expert. And this is the enemy, General Mamba. Destroy the Eagle Force. Head of Riot. Plus, Baron Von Chill, Beta Man, and Shock Trooper, each sold separately. Captain Eagle, K.O., Turk, and all Eagle Force figures, each sold separately by Mego. Today's review will be on the Fresh Monkey Fiction and Zika Toys, Riot vs. Eagle Force. And this is for Felsbug. Hi, it's me, Felsbug. Felsbug? Oh, wait, Firebug. Okay, okay, that makes more sense. Pyrotechnic Inventory, not Felsbug. Really cute puppet with sharp teeth. And I really don't think that Felsbug would work for Riot. He's more of an Eagle Force kind of guy, because he's a good guy. Yeah, don't let those sharp teeth and glowing eyes be misleading. No, he's a good guy. How you doing, Felsbug? Anyways, back to this review. Now, as you can see, we have Firebug, Pyrotechnic Inventory, which is an all-new character. And yes, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Foo, didn't you just review your last Eagle Force figure not too long ago? How'd you get this guy? Well, just like Michael Corleone said in Godfather 3. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. And you know what? I wouldn't have it any other way because I love these Eagle Force figures. Now, as you can see there, we've got some really awesome card art of Firebug looking very cool and very uniform to Fireball because this is actually a troop builder. These are the guys that Fireball has working for him and they go out and they do a lot of fire sabotage and that's pretty awesome. Over here, you'll see that the figure translated very well, looks just like that card art and that is awesome. But yeah, this is cool and you know, you might need more than one of these guys, but He's going to look so cool standing alongside a fireball. Looking at the back of the card, and it's exactly like all the others. 100% collector friendly. Just slide this card out, pull the figure out of the bubble, play with the figure all you want, put it back in the bubble, slide this card back in, and you still got a mint on card figure. Now everything up here is exactly the same as all the other cards, and then down here we have a roll call for Series 1. Which includes Captain Eagle, Eagle Force Leader, Striker Jr., Sharpshooter, The Cat, Espionage Expert, and Fireball, Pyrotechnic Sabotage. Oh, brother! <laughs> Underneath them is Firebug, Pyrotechnic Infantry, Riot Commando, Elite Terrorist Operative, Riot Shock Trooper, Terrorist Operative Infantry, and Eagle Force Trooper, Eagle Force Infantry. Looking at the bio for the Firebugs, it says, Just as Fireball himself remains a mystery, the identities of his devoted followers is just as strange. Previously a loner, during the time he was underground, Fireball apparently enlisted the help of Riot to recruit members to his cause, and they're all just as fiercely devoted to the Goddess of Flame as he is. Not afraid to risk their lives or safety for the next great explosion, the Firebugs fight eagerly alongside Fireball himself, dreaming of the day when the entire world is engulfed in flame. Well, I think we just solved the mystery of who Fireball really is. Down here it says Firebug, Pyrotechnic Infantry, and there's a quote from Captain Eagle that reads, One must wonder where Riot is coming from, once again joining forces with these maniacs. Riot seeks to rule the world, while Fireball and the Firebugs only want to see it burn. Where is their common tie? So I say we waste no more time and open this guy up. Now, I know it's collector-friendly and all, but I think we should open it with a blowtorch just to be respectful. So I say we... Open it! So, here's Firebug fresh out of the package, and I absolutely love that head sculpt. Now, if you know anything about Fresh Monkey Fiction and Zika Toys, then you know there's a lot of reuse between their figures. Well, this head was actually used for another figure in another line that they sell called Comic Adventure Heroes, and this is the Strike Force Trooper head. And I'm assuming this head was originally made for Eagle Force because it's on this figure and it's on another figure that I know of. And they probably just kind of carried it over to the Comic Adventure Heroes line, you know, to get more use out of the head sculpt or the mold or whatever like that. And you know what? That's pretty awesome because this head looks good on anybody that they sell. Now, speaking of the body, working our way down here, you might look at this and say, oh, that's just a fireball body. But actually, you'd be wrong. This is actually a Riot Commando body wearing a fireball vest. Now, the only thing they changed about the body besides the head sculpt is the fact that they took off his gun holster on his right thigh and then put a little pouch. And that would make Rob Liefeld very proud. 
looking at the figure from behind, if you look at the bottom part of his helmet there, it almost looks like he's got black shaggy hair hanging out from behind the helmet. But actually, the neck is painted all black with the trim of the collar being yellow. So it's kind of like an optical illusion, at least in my eyes, looks like he has black shaggy hair. Working our way down here, you see he has the red and yellow vest, and that looks really awesome indeed. But yeah, you've seen this body a couple of times already, and you know what? It's just as awesome as the first time we saw it. Looking at the figure from the side, and that head sculpt looks like it should be yelling, Hail Hydra, or something like that. That's pretty awesome, but he's not from Hydra. If you look at his sleeve, he's from Riot, and that is awesome as well. I absolutely love how these figures have this, like, black wash over them. Those pants and stuff look filthy and junk. That's pretty awesome. They're probably soot-covered because they're always around fire. Now, that vest, like all the other figures, is totally removable. And when you take it off, he looks just as awesome without it as he does with it. So that is a really cool option to have. And I love the fact that they painted that yellow trim and that black and yellow collar just looks so good. So, if you have more than one firebug, you could have some with the vest on, some with the vest off. Heck, you could swap out vests from other figures, and that would be really cool. As for his accessories, exactly like all the other figures, they come in this little clear plastic bag. So, let's see what he includes. He includes these eight extra hands. He has these grabby hands. He has these trigger finger hands. He has these weapon holding hands, which look a lot like the ones he's already got equipped on the figure. And then he also includes these fists. Now, as you can see, all of these hands are painted black and match the ones he's equipped with perfectly. So you could just swap out one and it'll look great. Lastly, his one and only weapon accessory shouldn't be too much of a surprise. It's a flamethrower. And this is the exact same one that came with Fireball. Speaking of which, here's Fireball standing alongside the Firebug, and they look so good together. Like I said, you're probably going to want more than one Firebug, because man, it would be so cool to see Fireball flanked on either side by a Firebug. But you know what? I'm happy with just having these two. They look so good. Now, looking at their outfits, you can definitely see a difference. Fireball's got more of the skin-tight kind of outfit with the taller gloves, whereas the Firebug has the baggier jacket and the shorter gloves. Down here at the legs are pretty much the same, except for the Firebug has the knee pads, and that looks really cool. Another thing you might not notice is the fact that the yellows on the vest are actually different. Fireball's is more of a yellow, whereas the Firebug's is more of an orange yellow. And looking at their grenades... You can see that the strap holding the grenades on the lower part of the vest are actually painted on the firebug vest, but they did skip that strap at the top and painted it on fireballs, so that's kind of cool. Another small difference is the pouch on the back of the vest is actually painted on the firebug figure. Now, I gotta say, as true builder figures go, this figure would fit in with pretty much any 3 and 3 fourths inch figure line you collect. I mean, he looks very military, but he also looks very sci-fi. So he'd fit in with pretty much anything, and you know what? He looks so awesome. And I really wish I had more than one of them. I'd love to have two. But yeah, these figures are kind of expensive, so I'm very happy to just have the one. So, there's my review of the Fresh Monkey Fiction and Zika Toys Riot vs. Eagle Force. <gasps> Firebug! And man, this figure is awesome. And you know what? I'm winding down on how many more of these figures I don't have. And I do actually have a few more waiting in the wings because when I bought this one, of course, I had to buy something else. And you know what? I can't wait to review them. So until next time, don't play with fire, kids. And tune in for more! Can Captain Eagle fight off General Mamba? It's up to you. When you're in command of the Eagle Force. Boom! Reviews! <laughs> hey, this is Nolan North. You don't want to miss Fool Reviews.